Mike's is hot, cuz. Watch what you saying. You know what's hot? <laughs> what? My girl. Oh, ass double ass. Uh, oh, okay. I ain't know. Uh, shit, you good? I'm good? Oh, yeah, you good. I can see. Check one, check two. IG Live, we already in the building. Starbucks. What did it say? Oh, <laughs> I thought it said Starbucks. It said Stuber Tax. What up, though? Checking us out on IG Live, dog. We just checking in. Facebook Live, man. We know y'all in the building. What up, though? Ron just checked in. What up, though? Up, Ronnie Ron? Ryan, you know what I'm saying? Ron. Venus, Venus made it for an early show. That's what's up, baby. Venus in this thing. Thank you for checking us out, man. Appreciate we understand. It's going to be early for a minute. Yeah, it's going to be early for a minute. Hey, man, we that's get what I'm going to tell you, too, man. What up? This nigga's hating on my show, bro. You don't even want to oh. give me the days off for the show. Like, he switched my time up to come in. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, bullshit, bro. Luckily, you I ain't been in my... early like ever. No, luckily I got Wednesday and Monday off. Dog, right. that's crazy. Well, How did that shit happen? He's just a hater, bro. So Friday what? You'll be off late? Like, you'll be... What time you get off? 10. Damn, that ain't early. Yeah. <laughs> we could still do a Friday night show, though. Yeah. That'd be fucking up our schedule, though. Yeah. Man, he did that shit on purpose, dog. I know he did. <laughs> All right, man. You ready to jump in this thing, dog? We already about 15 minutes in. Let's go. Yo, you know what it is, man. The Live is Cloud Radio Show on the planet, man. Straight from the E-Block Radio, live on your dial. Right this moment, man. It's your boy, the hood, Howard Stern, Q Lewis. Hold it down live from the 48205. Got my man Monk Money in the building. Come on, dog. You know I'm in this thing. <laughs> in this thing. All right, dog. So, look. Schedule's about to be fucked up again, but we go we gonna try to keep it consistent though. So welcome to the Wake and Bake Show where we ain't got the bake, but we won't do. Yeah, we got. <laughs> well, the we bake. got the bake. We just ain't got nothing to put it. In. We ain't got no pie crust to put it in. <laughs> <laughs> we got no pie crust and shit. So thank y'all for checking us out, dog. Let me see anybody else checked in before I get started. Uh, e Wayne, what up, though, man? Always checking us out, dog. Read the motherfucking topic. Don't ask me what the topic is. <laughs> you see the topic, nigga. All right, for real. Um, what's been going on this weekend, dog? This weekend, I don't know. I told him already. No, you didn't. This is oh, our yeah, first day back. It's Monday, it's Monday. <laughs> Nothing, bro. Working, Nothing. bro. Yeah. I'm mean, being this dude 24-7 thing. 24-7, bro. Yeah. I ain't had nothing to do, but, man, today, though, I went uh, to the room last night. Took my baby out to swim, you know what I'm saying? That's his birthday, so For sure. he got to do what he want this week. He Shout out to it. TJ, man. I, I didn't make it, but I was I was on my way. But <laughs> sleepyhead motherfuckers went hey, to sleep on me and shit. Hey, you done my 9 o'clock, baby. You got, baby got to go to school. I'm yeah, tired. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I feel I'm tired, bro. He put it in that, put in that motherfucker work for them yeah, birthday yeah. parties, dog. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. a lot of kids. No. No, I wasn't? Oh, okay. No. Oh, yeah, I forgot no, he got all he adult had, friends. He already had, like, this is like, he already had like two. This parties, part two of the party. Parties. Okay, I three got you. parties actually. One to school, one at the you know his grandma house. Yeah. Then, you know, then the one last night. Yeah, so, okay. You know we ain't expecting too many people to come out. Yeah. You know, this was just for him to swim. Me and him. You know oh, okay, saying? I got you. So, oh, plus, like you said though, you got all the dope friends. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think a grown man yeah. out here. So um, you know we swam. You know what I'm saying shit tired got me tired as hell. You hear me? <laughs> That's what got me hey, tired. Hey, swimming ain't no joke, Lil' Keto. Hell no, that's what got me tired. Playing with this dude, and he weighed 200 pounds. Yeah. And I'm trying to pick him up and throw him in the pool. You yeah, know he about 250. He about 250. Shit. <laughs> yeah, he's, he only six, though. It's all yeah, good. He's six. He about 200 pounds. Like, damn, nigga, you heavy. Venus said, what up? What's been going on? Same old, same old. Baby. I know. For what's been going on with you, though? You've been missing in action, yeah, though. Yeah, we ain't seen you. We ain't heard from you. No right. Now. We glad to see you in the morning, and though. And I want to give a shout out. You know uh -huh. what I mean? They ain't paying us, but I want to give them a shout out. Holy moly donuts. <laughs> First of all, holy moly is supposed to be selling dope out the back, though. Mon Money said they sell the dope out the front, this though. This is dope right here. <laughs> this is dope out the front. It's they better say, than Krispy Kreme? 
right now. Yeah, yeah. right now. Yeah. Word. Yeah. Damn, Krispy Kreme got Ho- cracking it for real. I'm fucking with Holy Moly, bro. Yeah. All right, which Holy- one you go to? Fuck it, give him a whole shout out because it's more than one, right? We want. Yeah, it's I don't one know on the, the west side one, somewhere. Yeah. I don't know the other one. I know the one on Eight Mile in the Quinter. Oh, okay. Holy Eight Moly Donut Shop. All right. Eight Mile Donut, Holy Moly Donut. They talking about they selling dope out the back. <laughs> they got that shit out the front too. <laughs> They really? sell that shit out the front though. Right, allegedly. Like, allegedly, like, right, allegedly. Right. Hell no. Nah. They got that shit. That shit fire, bro. <laughs> that shit fire. That shit fire, bro. I ain't fucking right. Nah, I don't really like donuts like that though. I don't either. You know what I mean? I don't eat them on a the regular. But the motherfuckers good though. The motherfuckers be good, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I don't like donuts in the morning really too much. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I eat them bitches throughout the day. You know what I feel. Man? I could have been a cop, but I don't like them. Just think you say you could have been a cop. Could you like donuts? Yeah. What type like of shit? <laughs> <laughs> I'll eat whatever, though. We're going to let that one roll and shit. She say we do early shows. Now she be busy. I was like, oh, shit, all right. Well, uh, I'm glad you was able to catch us th- uh, this morning, though. She said she missed us, though. Oh, Shout out too. Shout out to the NYC, man. New York in the building. New York. Dog, you know what? Speaking of New York, though, this is just a throwback, flashback memory. I was watching Black Ink uh, last night because I, I watch reality TV. Yeah, and uh, he does, he does, he does. I do, I do, I do that shit. I does that shit. I watch his motherfucking uh, reality TV anyway. But, uh, you know, Black Ink is in Harlem, obviously, and it's on Lennox Ave and shit. So then I just start reminiscing, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I used to live out there for like uh, about three months. I ain't, I ain't live. I was out there doing an internship. But, uh, yeah, I stayed on Linux Ave, too, though. But I stayed on Linux Ave and 125th, though, right? And not 125th, 135th, I'm sorry. 125th is, like, the epicenter of Harlem. At least it used to be. I don't know what it is now. It probably looked like Midtown Detroit, which is uh, completely gentrified. But, anyway, I was just uh, thinking. So, I went through the Google Earth shit, though, to go around the corner to the Y. Because I used to live at the Y, though. I stayed at the YMCA in Harlem on 135th and Linux, dog. And then I just started reminiscing, like, dog. I don't know how the fuck I did that shit. Like, I went out that bitch with $20 and motherfucking at a dream, nigga. You know hey, what I'm saying? Hey. Yo, that's some crazy shit, man. Shout out to all my people at Black Enterprise, man. Love y'all. Held me the fuck down, for real. Hey, you got to do what you got to do, man. <laughs> for sure. Fill your dreams, bro. <laughs> Candy can't say y'all too early, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, you here, so shit, what Appreciate up? Appreciate you, man. Hell yeah. Thank you for waking up with us. Candy Hell yeah. Candy. Thank you for waking up with us and shit. Wipe that crust it's, out your ass. It's the Wake and Bake Show. <laughs> right. roll, wake up and roll over, roll up and smoke. <laughs> I like that one, dog. <laughs> yeah, don't say it no more because somebody gonna steal it before we, you know, before we get a uh, coin that shit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, shout out to Harlem, dog. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, the YMCA in Harlem. That was the shit. Uh, she talking about West Side. Look, dog. You see these hats, right? right. We both got on East Side hats. Look, look. <laughs> right. You feel me? It's all good, dog. Shout out to the West Side, man. It's all good. But um, anything else though? Anything else pop this weekend? Uh, nothing other than that, bro. No, I pretty much work, bro. I work. Yeah. You know what I'm saying every day. You know what I'm saying. I try For to, sure. I'm trying to, you know, what I'm saying, get a business cracking off the ground. You know what I mean? And, yeah. Um, I actually had a meeting with a dude. Okay. Uh, opening up a spot. Okay. And it's gonna be like New Orleans style. You know what I'm saying? Ah. So y'all come out and see me. It's supposed to be open up in February. Uh-huh. We'll give y'all more details okay. in the future. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's going to be a live little joint. Yeah. They put money in it. Okay. Dude said money is not an option. No, not, not, huh? no money is not So some option. of that shit, like, that's like what? A whole bunch of seafood type shit? Or spicy uh, shit? Like, I don't know. No, I mean, I ain't I mean hip it's, it's going to be... It's gonna be some other shit and I'm not okay. just going to keep it New Orleans. You know okay. what I'm saying? But it's going to be some New Orleans flavor on it. You know what right. I'm talking about? So... Y'all just check that out. Wait for that to come. It's coming soon. <laughs> for sure. Audemars Deezy says, is this uh, Ingleside Radio? It certainly is. Yes, it is. <laughs> E-Block Radio yes, it is. certainly That's what the is. E stands for, sir. For sure. Chris Style Extensions. What up, though? Just checked in on uh, IG Live. But yes, it most definitely is. But yeah, so you say it's coming up in February, huh? Yeah, February. All right, so only a couple so, of months? Yeah. So All right. Right. You excited? I'm definitely excited. Yeah. I'm definitely excited for you know what's to come. You know what I'm saying. That's what's up. I'm claiming. I'm claiming 2019. This shit my year, man. Y'all gonna hear it live. live, live. <laughs> I know, so, right? Hey, I look. Promise, I for promise real this time, real. though. For, for real, real this time. For real. We say this our year, cuz. <laughs> but this is shit my year, and I'm saying it before New Year's. <laughs> right. For about? sure. For sure, man. All right. So uh, she got that shit popping off. Shout out to Holy Moly, of course, and shit. And then 
Y'all got a name and shit, or that's just that ain't Easy Street Saloon right now. Oh, okay. You know what I'm oh, okay, I like Easy that. Easy Street Saloon. Right? Yeah, you know okay. We're trying to do that, you know what I mean? Trying to get a popper. They're gonna that's probably try to put some video games in there too, you know what I'm Word. saying? Word. Okay. Yeah, something you know, for the kids. Something for the kids. You know, and the grown ass niggas yeah. that play video games. We just don't want too. you to sit down and eat. They want to have a whole experience when you come to the motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Right, for sure. We've been good, Chris Style. What up, though? How you been doing? Shit, she checking in for real, for real. Uh, let me see who Thank else just checked in. Thank you, baby. Oh, yeah, she said congratulations for show. Um, oh, then she said she seen Ice T in Harlem and shit. Oh, yeah. She got a picture and shit. Ice T probably the cool motherfucker, though. Probably it's just yeah. funny because he Ice T, though. Yeah. Like, I, he old as fuck right about now, though. But that nigga used to be a pimp, a gangster, now he the police and shit. Like, yeah. if I see if I see him in a in a, a show or a movie that's not being the police, it's going to be weird. Yeah, it's going to be weird. Yeah, because yeah. I don't think he can be a gangster no more he on TV. colors to the damn officer. <laughs> right, for real, for real. Hell no, In nah. the movie, I see he was the villain. Yeah, until then. Until now. <laughs> like, he been rocking the shit out of S... Uh, what it? I was about to say SVU. Yeah, S- S- oh, yeah, it is SVU. I was about to say, yeah. say SWV. <laughs> <laughs> You been rocking the hell out of sisters with voices, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but uh, let me see what else we got. Uh, yo, oh, he said what's good. He said Steve is cousin. What up, though? What's up, though? Adam Mardiz. He said Steve is cousin. Shout out to Steve, man. I Tell Steve to call us. Man, I was just saying something about Steve, man. Right. Cause Stevie disappeared in the group yeah, text like, and shit. Like he got us together over here, you know what I'm saying? Like got the lights, even though I just broke one, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. Yeah. We got the lights and shit together for us. Right. So we need we, we need donations for new lights. Yeah. Cause Mark Money just knocked the shit out the lights, so we uh, we a couple lights short. I apologize. But it's all it's all good. I gotta buy my. <laughs> Shout out to my man Ernest Sledge just checked in. What up, though? What up, though? Um, so shit. Let me see. I'm trying to figure out what what went down this weekend and shit. I ain't really do shit this weekend. I kind of chill. Huh? Oh shit, the fight. Cause yes, did you see the shit? No. Nope. Dog, the shit was it was a good fight. All right. First, I say that it was a good fight. Not real particularly sure if it should have been a draw, but for for niggas who watch boxing for real, um, from what I understand, uh, it it was it was called correctly. Mm-hmm. So um, I guess during the fight, pretty much. Uh, strategically, I think my man probably did win. Mm-hmm. But then, dog, when when he knocked the motherfucker out two times, though, yeah, that don't count for shit. That don't count for shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't get that one for real. Like uh-huh. I figured you get knocked out twice, you you go lose. Yeah. But it was a good ass fight. I ain't gonna lie. I think this is the best competition my man has seen. But that's sure. why that's why it was a draw. Like I was yeah. I was skeptical because this motherfucking white dude look uh, all out of shape and shit. Oh yeah, he looked like Al Bundy in this yeah, bitch. Yeah. yeah. And he was fucking I heard he was just stinging his ass. He was stinging his ass, yeah. Stinging his ass and you know, walking around his yeah. bitch, you know what I'm saying? Still talking shit when he's taking them couple shots and shit. So yeah. 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 No, he did his thing. No, I ain't gonna lie, like he did his thing. I think that was the best competition he had. Um I, I'm pretty sure the draw was the was the setup for the rematch, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm I'm pretty yeah. sure. But uh, the, the fight was good though. Like this is one of the better fights. Like, cause you know you watch, yeah, yeah, Special. heavyweight, yeah, the better heavyweight fights I've seen because we just seen so many Mayweather fights that are so strategical and shit. Like yeah, yeah. they boring. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. That they boring. This was actually a good ass fight, yeah. and it wasn't just the Crown Royal or the Bourbon that we was drinking, or that weed we had. So we wasn't none of that. But yeah. I was high. Yeah. But that wasn't it though. It was a good fight and shit. Coco J just checked in. What up though, baby? What up though? For sure. For sure. But um yeah I think it was uh I, and I was gonna say that we uh well never mind I ain't gonna mention it yeah I'm gonna mention it so we watched it for the free ninety nine and shit I ain't gonna give out no details on how we did that yeah. but we did watch it for the free ninety nine so yeah. shout out to the free ninety nines yeah, of the world you know what I'm saying that shit was like eighty dollars come on bro come on bro yeah I'm not paying eighty dollars it is though and that it should be is. on YouTube the next day dog for real for real on YouTube Facebook every Other motherfucking thing, thing else everything. hey look another thing dog. Off the fight and shit. Congratulations to uh, my man for making a draw and shit. Yeah. But I, he he about to make so much bread now though because he getting he getting his own personal attention anyway. So he about to make money. So shout out to my man Wilder and shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Doing his thing and being motherfucker woke as hell. Woke as hell. Um, but dog, on the side note though, George Bush died, right? Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> it's bold when people die. Yeah. Because you know life is precious and all that shit. But at the same time, it's George Bush. <laughs> I'm not wait, absolutely. Wait. What, uh, what? Wait, what, wait, what, you said. What, what you what? said? You I'm said just, you don't give a fuck? I'm not saying I don't. Yeah, yeah. Fuck it. I'll say I don't give a fuck, dog. I'm sorry. Like, I, don't I'm sorry. Go George Bush. Cold blooded, bro. Dog, George Bush to me is no different. 
It's no different from Ronald Reagan. All of these people who flooded the West Coast with dope Donald to Trump. fund to fund money for uh for for guns and shit for motherfuckers overseas who years later they said was motherfucking terrorists and shit. Like they they all used us as pawns, you know what I'm saying, to 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 feed whatever machine it is that they running. Uh -huh. So it's sad yeah. that somebody died. Yeah. <laughs> but uh yeah. yeah. Uh, rest in peace, I guess. Yeah, I'm not really gonna comment on this one. You not gonna comment on that? I'm gonna stay out the way on this one. <laughs> They gonna cut our shit off, right? But um, I, I basically agree with Cuz, but right. I'm but you gonna, not gonna say it. Yeah, I'm, just gonna I'm gonna say it. Like in real life, the that whole administration, the Reagan administration, that Bush administration. We talking about we talking about the old man Bush. The last Bush, I think he just kind of retarded. So I'm not really mad at him. Like when when he died, I'll be like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Because he a kind of funny dude and shit. I, I kind of yeah. liked him. I ain't yeah. go front. I kind of like the, the the young Bush and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Even though ain't none of these politicians shit. No, no. But like he was cool. Like yeah. when he died, I'll be like, oh, that's just kind of fucked up. Yeah. I remember when Kanye played then go on TV. That's what I'm gonna remember. Yeah. But this other motherfucker though, he was a part. He was a part of the Reagan administration. All that shit built. Shit overseas on the backs of motherfucking dope being filled on the West Coast, nigga. And then, obviously, uh, sent out, you know, our way. So, fuck all that. So, but my thing is, rest they, in sent peace. The, they sent the jobs over there. And oh, now, you, now we talking about, yeah, they, they sent the, the dope <laughs> here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, even exchange, I guess. Come on, exchange. bro. Like, I don't understand how that's even, you can applaud any of that shit, bro. Right. Like, any of these motherfuckers, bro. Like, these motherfuckers is... Only for themselves, bro. Like no, they, that's for sure. They that's put up sure. this facade of their like they're for the cause. They're not yeah. for the cause. They're for their pockets. You know, for sure. I mean, that's the bottom line. It's capitalism and shit. They having they heaven on earth. Why we gotta wait to have? You know, what I'm saying, go to die to go to get our heaven, and these motherfuckers <laughs> having they heaven right here. Yeah. So you just go get that deep real quick on Monday. Okay. Fuck it. I, I mean, no, I feel you though. But I, I feel I'm you. That shit, that shit was deep though. I feel that shit was heartfelt. Yeah, she was heartfelt. I felt you on that shit. <laughs> Candy cane talking about all shit. Cue the police. I ain't the fucking police. <laughs> I didn't. I ain't say who had it for the free ninety nine. I just said I watched it for the free ninety nine. Right. I ain't telling. Right. I'm like it's like halfway snitching and shit. But it ain't really snitching. Cause I'm ain't telling on myself. Right. I watched it. Right. Yeah, I, I ain't telling that. Right. Shut up, man. <laughs> Shut your ass up. Go to sleep. You said you going to sleep because you had a patrol. Like take your ass to sleep. Patrol. No, game. stay stay woke though, so you can uh, finish watching the show. Patrol but game. um, also too, before we jump into the uh, for real topic. Real quick, we got new listeners. Shout out to the new listeners. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Definitely, definitely. But um, from what I understand from our last show, it has been it has been said that we say bitch a whole lot. Do we? We do. You know what? I, we do, and we did last week. You know what? I'm gonna say bitch a lot today. Too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna be. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna be honest. Like I know. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Let me try. I know, like, my auntie be watching, you know what I mean? Yeah. And she, and she kind of pretty, you know, she pretty, you know, into the church, you know yeah. what I mean, and all that. So I don't want to disrespect a little bit. nobody. But yeah. honestly, I'm just going to, you know, I can't help to say what I say and how I say it because <laughs> this is just how I say it. Duh, so fooling. You see this shit? What'd you say? You talking about get him a pop and a cigar and he going to snitch. Damn! <laughs> that's fucked up. A pop and a cigar? A pop? Damn, can I at least get a motherfucking bourbon? What happened shit? to the two-piece? The two-piece right. ain't in there. They do it for the two-piece. What the two-piece? Oh, talking about me and shit. Like, <laughs> motherfucker popping a cigar out. All right, so look. Again, so we've been alerted that we say bitch a whole lot. Uh, well, and I, I just said it again. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm probably going to say it. I'm probably going to say it too because yeah, probably I probably say already it. said it like 16 times. Yeah, yeah. I use that shit like a, as a pronoun and, and shit. Yeah, not a pronoun, like, but a... Yeah, just, is that a pronoun? It's a noun. I don't know. Yeah. A motherfucker be person writing this shit. I don't even thing. know the words for that shit. Person, place, or thing. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> right. Either one. Either one. Person, yeah. place, or thing. <laughs> Nigga, we in that bitch. Well, yeah. That bitch said. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or a thing, man. Oh, that Hand me that bitch. right there. Right. Grab it. It's right there, man. About to brush. <laughs> no, for real. This nigga said first four day. All right, let's jump in for real, for real. If you're now just checking us out, dog, Instagram live, uh, motherfucking Facebook live, uh, YouTube live, cause we kind of everywhere and shit. This is what we talking about, man. Hit me in the comment box. You can you can comment and we'll read you live on the air. So this is what we saying. Would you continue to date someone? Oh shit, what happened? <laughs> I saw that shit blink. I'm like, oh shit. No, they cut us off because we was talking about that bullshit. Okay, okay, don't we say good? it no more. Okay, know. all right. So, uh, <laughs> comment below, though. We want to know, would you continue to date someone that the homie smashed, all right? So, let's say you dating someone new, 
And then they come around the homies and then you find out. Like, yo, my man, yo, you know I smash, right? Do you continue to date that person? We want to know, dog. Ladies, we want to know from y'all too, man. If you out with your girls and you're like, yeah, this is my new boo thing and shit. He roll, he roll up and your homegirl like, hey, hey, girl. You know I hit that, right? <laughs> like, do you continue to date that dude, man? We want to know. Hit me in the comment box right now, man. We're going to read you live on the air. Monk Money. We hanging and shit. Uh -huh. You got a dating situation. I'm like, look here, bro. Uh -huh. You know I smash, right? Uh -huh. Do you continue to date her, bro? Well. It depends on certain situations. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be totally one hundred. You'll be one hundred. Niggas okay. ain't gonna probably ain't gonna feel me because, but because they holding this shit in and they don't want to say it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like for real. Like if you got a chemistry with this motherfucker, yeah. y'all doing y'all thing, and he smashed back in the day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, she she ride with me all the way to the motherfucking dirt. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I might have to say fuck it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, just hey, roll, just roll, keep Man. rolling, cause I ain't gonna let this shit fuck my shit up. Yeah, because sure. I have a pass also. Right. So I mean, she might fuck around and see one of her cousins that come to a motherfucker party like, oh shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, <laughs> right, you know niggas right. make that face like, oh shit. <laughs> like so y'all, so y'all know know each other. Right. Like that motherfucker popped up like a ghost, a demon, and I'm like, oh <laughs> shit. Like, what the fuck is y'all? Oh, shit. So yeah. you gotta explain that too. But so yeah. I mean, like. People have passes, you know what I mean? Like, you've done shit in your past, some good, some not not too good, you know what I'm saying? But you right. did that shit, and it's there. Yeah. So you got to leave some of the shit in the past. But, <laughs> said but, but, if this motherfucker got a history, oh, oh, cuz, and my homeboy hit that shit, and, and cuz, oh, yeah, then shit. it's going to be probably then a problem. it's probably going to be a problem, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to be marrying a bus, though, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like for real, like bust down, bust down, bust down. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> so you know what I mean? Like I figure, like it's certain situations. You know what I mean? You get in. You know what I mean? Like if if this motherfucker rolling with me, bro, and I'm in love with this lady and all this yeah. shit and this and this and that, and you say, damn, dog, I smash. Her. I be fucked up for a good minute though. Like damn, because it's still weird. Because you because you know she smashing yeah. somebody, but then it's fucked up yeah, when you, you know, know the person. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of kind of fucked up, but. I'm going to have to roll with her. You know what I'm saying? She got yeah. my back. You know what I'm saying? 120% shit, man. Fuck you. Because so. you hit it. All right, nigga. You better <laughs> so you tell it. nobody. You Don't better tell, tell nobody, else. nigga. <laughs> Michaela said, what up, though? What up, Michaela? What up, Michaela? Um, Venus said, nah. We look at that as sloppy seconds. I feel that. But I think in, in that situation, like you said, I don't know. Like, what if you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, what if you, well, you really feeling that shit? shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like now, shit. Candy Cane said, how long were you dating before you found out? I think that's probably, that's, that's the main thing. thing. Mm -hmm. That's the, that's probably the main thing. Mm -hmm. It's like, because if it's, if it's been a short minute, like, you've been knowing her for like a month, like, then, uh, I don't know. I think I might. I don't know. That's hard to say, too, because even if you just know him for a month, it might, shit, you might be there with her. Yeah, I don't know. Might yeah. still, might still like him. Hell yeah. Love, though. The heart wants what the hearts want, bro. My man, my man, DZ say, hell no, <laughs> but we would continue to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's, that's your nigga. Shit, he got to be a young nigga. Got to be. But, I, you know, I mean, he right, though. Yeah. <laughs> he right, though. I mean, I, in some situations, though. Some situations. Saying? Some situations, he right, like. If she, if she was just a, you can get into to, to a month yeah okay just because you hit it I ain't gonna say no I ain't gonna say no. And she said so now now she can't come around him no more especially if it was good <laughs> damn <laughs> like you blew your back like blew out your back out <laughs> duh for real though <laughs> um, I, and I think like I say I think the most important thing probably is why well, I, I can't say the most important thing is the time because that that don't really. I, it's kind of where you at in your head, though. Yeah. Because, like, if you've been yeah. dating her and shit, like, you've been dating her for a couple months or some shit, and, like, you really, like, you really trying to figure out, like, this might be shit. And you done told the homie, but he ain't recognize her name because she got a nickname and some right. shit. So, you're like, yeah, shit, I'm a, I got an old girl with me now. Shit, all right, bet. Pull up. Then you pull up, nigga, like, oh, oh, shit, cuz. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Now, let me ask you this, though. And, ladies, I want to know, too, like, if y'all on the line, fellas, too, everybody who on the line right now, Instagram live, all that shit. Inko Entertainment, just checked it. And I just keep saying Inko. Inko. And Nico Entertainment, checked it. What up, though? Um, so, I want to know this from y'all, too, though. Hit me in the comment box. I want to know. So, if you in that position, let's say you on the other side of that shit. Like, your homie roll up with somebody that you smashed. Do you tell them immediately and confront them in front of each other? Or do you pull your people to the side and be like, hey, dog, hey, you know, I, I hit this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you do? Like, do you tell them in front of each other, like, hey, Hey, bro, I know her. Like, just check her in front of him. 
Or like what do you do? Bro, I'm I'm you can't not you know, not checking, but you know what I'm saying. Like you can't be ill about the whole situation, you know what I mean? Because well, not once, Ill, but once she see you, she know I'm saying something. So I'm gonna get it to a point where at a point where like, look, how you doing? You all right, blah blah blah. I'm gonna shake her hand. How you doing, cuz? What's up, cuz? Let me highlight you real quick. Let's go smoke a cigarette on this L outside. Let's yeah, so L. then she gonna know that he's gonna know tell it. That nigga tell him. I'm telling right now, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I, I gotta tell him, you know. Your mean? honor? Like, your honor. That's just that's just the man code. You gotta, right. gotta tell him. I'm go I'm go mention it, but I'm saying like do I mention it in front of her? No. Or no. no I'm gonna put I'm gonna put cuz. Why for? Cause it's gonna make her feel fucking uncomfortable and fucking all that. She was already shit. uncomfortable when she came well, in. Well, don't your make ass. it worse, you know what I'm saying? So that's yeah. why you just try to do. I try to do a little smoother, you know what I'm saying? Tell yeah. my man like, hey, bro, let's go smoke this L. Hey, all right, so yeah, he said pull him to the side. Yeah, he agreed. Pull, pull him to the side. side. You know what I'm saying? You don't Ladies, I wanna know what, what would y'all do though? Cause I don't think women ain't pulling nobody to the side. They go check the liquor right there, especially if he come in and act like he don't know you. Cause you know we'll do that yeah, shit. Yeah. I come in with a chick, she's like, yeah, let's let's go meet my homegirls. Like, all right, bet, huh? The little bear shit. I don't know. I can't. Yeah, I see it. But goddamn, there's a whole lot of shit going up. But um, what's I about to say? But yeah, I, I know if, if it's me and, and she like yeah, it's me, and my homegirls, and we roll up and I just smash one of our girls and shit. I'm, I'm go at like I don't know that motherfucker. I mean that's just off instinct. Nah. Like hey hey hey. I, I, I can't, bro. I can't. I gotta get it out there right quick because I'm scared. I mean, but if I but if I'm the dude that's getting brought in, I ain't gonna say shit. I'ma let her girl tell her. Yeah, definitely. But then what though? Do I just not say something until she bring it up? Hey, so my girl said. Oh, you better say, you better something, say something right there. Hell yeah, too. Like, I know, she, I know, baby girl, just tell yeah. me. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I don't mean. <laughs> she say hell yeah, like, hey, what's up? How you been, girl? You know we used to fuck. I can't get you a fucking phone. <laughs> Like, what up, girl? You know we used to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they clowning on this motherfucker. No, yeah, so uh, all of our DJs say, I'm pulling my mans to the side like, hey, shit, I fuck, nigga. No, they say, we all, uh, Michaela said, we all grown. I'm going to pull them to the side. Yeah, definitely. Wrong thing to do, Q. Yeah. What, what's the wrong thing? To check both of them together? Yeah, right in front of them, bro. It's just wrong. It's like, yeah, I'm just, I'm just bullshit. I ain't doing that shit. Yeah. I'm acting like I don't know either one of you motherfuckers right. when I walk in. Right. So I'm getting at least like, oh, shit, I don't know you or her. They got out here. I left something in the car. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> and, like, if I was in a situation, I'm going to be nervous as a motherfucker because I know, I know he out, she outside telling that. No, or in the bathroom, you know, they go to the bathroom a lot. So they go in the bathroom, they talking about it. So <laughs> right. you better say something like, I know soon she come out the bathroom, and she going to start fuck, stop fucking with you immediately. Immediately. Yeah. <laughs> immediately. I ain't going to lie, though. Anybody anybody watching this show that know me, that, that know me, like, for real, then you know I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit motherfucking talkative. I'm probably going to say the shit right there. Yeah. Like, as soon as I walk in, like, oh, shit. Like, what up? But like, hey, shit, baby girl, like, I, shit, I, I know your girl. Like, I'm probably going to say it right yeah, then. Because yeah. just because I just be, I don't know, I talk too motherfucking much sometimes. sometimes. I be telling shit that don't even need to be told. Sometimes. sometimes. <laughs> right? So, I think I'm going to pull up like, oh, shit. What's going on, Keisha? Hey, my dog, <laughs> my dog is the worst cheater in the world. Yeah, I would talk myself all into the shit not even <laughs> knowing. Like, nigga, I ain't even have to tell. Yeah. But, uh, but not that I cheat or anything. But, uh... <laughs> Cause I don't, I don't cheat. No, if but you, uh, if you did, you if get... I did cheat, I would be the greatest. I'd be the worst. worst. Yeah, I'd be the worst. But no, I probably would though. I, I would roll in that motherfucker and be like, "Oh shit!" Like, "Yo, what up?" Yeah, I, I know her. You know what I'm saying? I know her. Somebody said, "Yup." <laughs> <laughs> oh, Coco J, really? Whatever. Whatever. Somebody said, "Yup." <laughs> any, any, any fucking way. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> anyway. Bro, you gotta be slow, my dog. <laughs> Too early for this shit. What the fuck? Hit me the comment box, dog. What y'all keep kicking it with the dude? Uh, you know what I'm saying? If uh, if you find out the homie smash. So, ladies, I, I don't know. So, Venus the only one that really said that she wouldn't because that's considered sloppy seconds. Yeah. Ladies, I want to know what y'all say, man. Y'all girl pull you to the side like, dog. You know, I smash your mans and shit. And then, no, what? What? What if your man say? What if your man say? Yeah, I smashed nigga. The pussy was whack. <laughs> Like, so you dating, you ain't smash yet. So my man that hit you the game, like, nigga, the pussy whack, bro. Yeah, and she don't suck dick. Right. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm free if I'm gone. Because if I, I'm free if I'm gone. Like, I, oh yeah, God. I got to get I gotta get some head, my guy. I got to get I'm, some I'm head, sorry. my guy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the profanity. Are you? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> right. Yeah, oh, I got to get some head, bro. I just fuck all that. Like, I, shit, I can. 
I could probably I could make the whack pussy work, nigga. I gotta get some head though. Shit, I don't know. But um, so ladies, I, I really want to know though. What what y'all? You know what I'm saying? You you dating this new dude? What y'all keep kicking it with, dude? If your girl say that you smash, dog candy can't say hell no. That shit is over immediately. Word immediately. Immediately. I mean, like, what if he just hit? What if she smashed one time? Like they wasn't like in no relationship, no shit. Like it was just kind of some whatever shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't know. <laughs> my man Mitchell say straight up ain't no holding that in yo like for real I, no I'm gonna say this shit though Roddy when I roll to. up you got to ain't no holding in so yeah. when you see you better say something like oh baby girl you know her <laughs> right <laughs> how y'all know each other right, right. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, once shit. a nigga start looking all nervous you go already kind of low yeah, because we the worst too we the worst yeah, bro. We, the worst. Worst. we the worst in situation women yeah. be calm cool and collected we, we shaking so, oh shit oh right. Lord, I gotta go yeah. you know what I'm saying nigga panic quick now I think the the only time and this is probably this is probably rough and shit, but I'm gonna say it because I'm just gonna say the shit. The only time I think I, I might maybe not say nothing <laughs> is if me and this chick like together for real, mm-hmm. and I know her girl because I smashed recently. Oh man! <laughs> then, then I might not say nothing man, on that one. Man, you better just. I'm gonna roll with that shit. You just might well, like if you see her y'all out, you might well, roll just get up, shit. go to your house, pack up all your shit. <laughs> And try yeah. to find, go stay with your mama for a minute until you get back on your feet. <laughs> get your shit and get the fuck on for a minute. Hey, until your mama until you get back on your feet. Go to Duh. your mama's house or something, you know what I'm saying? Because fuck it, it's over it's with over love. With it's over with love. Yeah, it's you roll like, oh, oh, this your girl? Oh, yes. Uh, <laughs> right. Uh, you know her from what? From what? Uh, right. uh, all right, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Go right out the back door. Is it right? <laughs> not like what happened like that the moment because to leave. because you gonna get your shit burnt up, cut up. You uh, know what I'm saying? So if you want your shit, TV I don't know, but then her girl might be all. Yeah, but still, and she ain't gonna tell. Still, you never so, know. Dog, some of these girls like they friends be the worst, bro. Like yes, they be bro. trying to fuck they niggas. Child, like that's yeah. Man, that shit. Dog, if you got friends like that, man, and you don't, well, hopefully you don't know you got friends like that. Because if you got friends like that, you need to cut their ass out there, out your circle. Right. They exist though. They definitely, they definitely exist. exist, man. Definitely. Really, will try to fuck your dude because like that's just what type of shit they own. I don't even know. That's that's some crazy shit. It, I, I guess there's niggas out there like that too, definitely, though. Definitely, though. Yeah, I guess. Like, like, I don't hopefully, like, hopefully, ain't none of you niggas in my school. Uh, no, like, you know what, though? Like, I don't understand. I think I had one of mine. You know what I'm saying? That's why 86 that nigga. Y'all know who he is. You, yes, I know. Y'all know, I know me. Definitely. Y'all know who it is. I still don't believe saying? that, though. Man, you saw it. I, but you, I was high, nigga. You was high. You stopped me from fucking swinging on the motherfucker. Nah, Boone did. Oh, Boone did? Yeah, what Boone What are you, big motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> One of these big I, motherfuckers, I was about to swing on this motherfucker, and this motherfucker just grabbed me. Hey, hey, you're not here, not right now. Like, fuck yeah. that. I, shit, I wasn't moving fast enough. Boone has just swooped your ass up, though. <laughs> God, one of them big motherfuckers yeah. bear, one of these big bear motherfuckers <laughs> right. grabbed my ass, because I was coming for that nigga. Like, come on, bro, how you going to do it? In my presence. I still don't know if that really happened. <laughs> I watched it with my own eyeballs. You was high, nigga. I was, but still, I saw it. <laughs> I seen it. You think you seen it? I don't man, even I know. I walked up on cuz I tried to motherfuck the boy. One of them big motherfuckers put me in the hucklebuck. Like, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> right. Kill this nigga, dog. It's supposed to be my dog. Yo, know that was saying? a crazy evening right there, though. Yeah, that was yeah crazy. little throwback memory right there. Yeah. A little inside throwback memory, I guess. Yeah, I ain't Some people who watch it know what we talking about. Yeah. Uh, Candy Cane said these niggas for everybody. It said there's niggas for everybody. There's somebody else out here. So she basically saying, leave that nigga alone. Just go find you another one. Uh, Michaela said the same thing. She said, I would leave him. Like, I I don't know if I believe y'all. I don't know if I believe him either. I don't know if I believe y'all, ladies. Because, I ain't gonna front. Because if he's smashing that back in good. <laughs> it in good. In good. And uh, he's he's treating you nice, you know what I'm saying. He's feeding you, you know what I'm saying. And he's he's he's, he's come every time he come through. He got a drink or you know some whatever you, know, you like, whatever it is whatever you like, whatever it is right. you like. You're not about to just let that go because your homie smashed him ten years ago. Like, come yeah. on, like I think it's the timing I, on that too. Like how, timing, long, like how long ago how long it was? Ago, all that like, shit. like yeah, because if you if you talking about you smashed two days ago, then it's definitely yeah. a fucking issue. Then yes, I yeah. understand that. But the motherfucker did ten years ago. Then what the fuck? Right. So that's what Mitchell said. He said if it was recent, then then I, that got to get told. But if it's some old shit, then nah. All right. So yeah. so if it's old, I don't know. Well, ladies ain't buying that shit. Even if it's some old shit, they want to know. Yeah. So I'm gonna tell you, it ain't gonna be important right now though. No. 
But like if it was like right before I met you like, and shit like that, then I'm gonna tell you like, hey, shit, you know, I smashed the homie and shit. Um, Mitchell say in, in a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> right, take that to your grave. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm taking that bitch yeah. to the grave. She gonna have to tell. She yeah. she gonna have to tell. She going to. Yeah, maybe, maybe some of them know. Uh, she say uh said shit not speaking, not speaking to her is worse. She go add extra lies on top of lies. You probably right though. You're probably right. Like you roll up and don't say she like oh this nigga ain't even gonna speak to me. Right. Like I, yeah, because women do get vindictive yeah. like that. Y'all yeah. crazy she like start that. Start telling shit that she like bitch. I want you lying. <laughs> she says she gonna blackmail your ass anytime she wants some more. Damn. Damn. You know what, Candy Cane? Uh, Damn. You, you look crazy, man. You look crazy. You look crazy. Crazy Candy Cane. <laughs> What's she say? Uh, if you ain't never had good dick, you might stay. But but me, by Lance. Dog. <laughs> oh, go back. Oh, Players Club oh, reference. Oh, hell no. <laughs> she hell, <did>. hell no. <laughs> she said, hell no, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we is crazy. Now, now Candy Cane ass crazy. Yeah, she nuts. Uh, she said, "Let me find out in this piece." Like, I, why is it peace though? Like, if I fuck three years ago, let's say I smashed three years ago, you don't even really keep up with home girl. It's like she came back in town or some shit. Like, you don't even know her. Like, y'all are cool, but y'all ain't fucking around like that. And then you just find out, like you know, three years ago before I met your ass and shit, I, I smashed her on. Candy cane too. I don't know why she tripping. She lying. You lying? Cause you, <laughs> you lie. You lie. This nigga doing you right and doing you nice and making you feel like a queen. You know what I'm saying? Come on, you're not gonna be peace out that easy. It's not that easy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, like it shouldn't be. It should. It's it not. Be, yeah. It's not that easy. Like if you got actually got fucking feelings for a person, yeah. And fuck, it's not just gonna be over just because of that that quick. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Unless the motherfucker fucked last night, then that's the fuck. That last night. <laughs> then oh, that's why you wasn't asking the phone. Yeah, phone. yeah. Like then, smash then, the then, shit. then it's a problem. But if a nigga yeah. treating you nice and doing good things for you, you ain't about to just say, fuck that yeah. piece. West side my ass. Right. <laughs> <laughs> say it again for the people in the back. West side my ass. <laughs> but look, though, I, it's a tough one, though. Like, it's a tough one. Like, if you... Especially if you really feeling the chick, dog. She come through, you find out the homie smash. Like, I got to know all kind of shit. Like, nigga, how long ago was it? Like, nigga, did you like her for real? <laughs> like, did she like you, nigga? Right. Was y'all a date, nigga? It's gonna be a lot of questions. Like, if they if they was dating for real, then I can't even fuck around for real. I ain't gonna lie. Like, if it like 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 like, like yeah yeah like if they were like like in a relationship together, yeah. like like if they was like. Years in a relationship and then they broke up. I can't they, fuck I around. Can't fuck no, around. not at all. That's because, not even years, nigga. No. If it's months, like Month. if y'all was like really building, oh, no. nigga, I can't do that. No. You know that's G code shit right that's there. I don't, cause G-code. I don't want a nigga to be with when my old thing, like one one that we was really trying to make moves with. No hell no, I'm out that thing, dog. Uh, Vinny said timing is definitely important. Uh, Kenny Kane said y'all y'all don't get it. Females ain't shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they'll be trying to be funny. This is true. Mm-hmm. Knowing they smashed, they smashed before you. Like, do he still do that one thing with you? Oh, that would oh, be fucked up. Or flirting, then, laughing, then being no, all extra. That ain't no friend anyway, so we shouldn't even be talking about it. You should have slapped the shit out of her right then and there right, because that that's being friend. extra. That ain't your friend. You know what I mean? Because right. if your friend it was your friend, friend, she going to walk up tell you straight up like, hey, baby girl, hey, I, yeah. well, I smashed cuz. You know Hell what I'm yeah. saying? Like, she, she ain't no friend. Like, she going to keep that shit from, from you? Then definitely no, because I'm going to tell you. Cause I ain't gonna bullshit you. I'm gonna tell right. you right there, like, hey, hey, baby girl, baby girl, let me, let me. Talk unless, to I, you. unless I'm cheating on you with the bitch, man. Yeah. <laughs> then I'm mad, like, I don't know that motherfucker. Right. Like, unless I smashed last night, then. Right, man. I got that lesion, nigga. I got that lesion. Who? Who? What you say your name was? Man, baby, oh, extra tripping. fake. Let's go. Right, and then when I get to the crib, then you like, you know, start slowly packing, packing shit away, and get the fuck <laughs> up out of here. <laughs> For real. Hiding, hiding the knives and, and scissors and shit, cause I don't wanna get stabbed to death. Say on the say on the oh who that oh DJ say on the real if the head good then I don't want to hear shit. <laughs> what? He said that's fucked up. <laughs> no, what? Oh, if the dude. head good, I don't want to hear shit. These Man, I dude, I, I don't know. Do I want to know? I think I want to know. I think I want to know. I, think I got I wanna, to know. Who do I want to know from though? Like, am I gonna be mad if my man's don't say nothing? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what? Yeah, would you be mad if the homie don't say nothing but your girl? Like, oh, shit. Hey, I know your man's like, we fucked a couple times. Like, 
but your nigga didn't never say nothing. Yeah, I be fucked up. You be with mad it. about yeah, that hell shit? Hell yeah. yeah. Nigga, why you ain't say nothing, bro? Like, you, you put me in a fucked up situation. Yeah, for you sure. You know what I'm saying? I fuck you. you know right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, yeah. straight, I'm straight on you, cuz. Like, I see you in the street. I'll give you the deuces. That's it. <laughs> right, said, that's it. That's Coco it. J said it would be awkward for a long minute if that person decided to stay. But the awkwardness then may drive that person away eventually. Um, I. I think like the you right. I think the awkwardness at first, and then after that is the insecurity. Yeah. Cause then it's like, if this the homie for real, we gonna see this motherfucker often. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, if this the homie for real, so like you gonna always see this nigga. It's gonna be like, yeah, I want to dip to the bathroom, but I don't want to leave you two motherfuckers together. <laughs> but not all the time though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like shit, I got homies. You know what I'm saying? They probably ain't never seen my girl. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I mean, like, and you know what I mean, like. I mean, eh, I don't yeah. know, nigga. It's, it's, a, it's a rough one, nigga. It's a rough one. But, but my thing is, it's got to be awkward at first. My thing though. is, though, if you got time invested with this person, you not just about to say, I'm up and peace out. Yeah. It ain't about to happen, though. You yeah. gonna, say it sound good. It sound, sound good. good for TV. It sound good. Because <laughs> me personally, I would say that shit. I was younger me. Yeah. I'm out. Fuck that. Yeah. But the but fourth, then you, you look back like, mm, yeah, it's yeah. like I could have you like you missed out on something. You could have missed yeah. out on your person. You know what I'm saying? True that. No, you could miss out because there's somebody out there for everybody. You could miss out on that person. That could have been that person for you. Yeah. He's doing all these nice things, but he smashed the homie. Like shit happens, bro. Like, <laughs> that shit happens. Shit ain't like, world well, ain't like perfect every day, like, B. Right? <laughs> world well, ain't perfect. You know what I'm saying? Somebody having sex right now as we speak <laughs> that was probably cheating. <laughs> Right. You know what I'm right, now. right now, missing the show and missing shit. Missing the show, Throwing banging that ass back. Right. Right. <laughs> this nigga recording retarded. this shit. This nigga's here. <laughs> no, uh, recording this shit. Fuck. Kenny K said, but my thing is not going. It's not going to be that long because I let my girls. Uh, I let my girls when I even get a number. Oh, she said. She says you let them know when I get a number, so I'm gone quickly. I well she 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 defending that shit, Monk. She say that she out that motherfucker quickly. Uh, then she said, but he might he might think you all happy and building, Monk, and you don't want to be the reason you unhappy. Dog, I it's a tough one. I think it's not easy. I don't think it's an easy answer as it seems. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it's as easy of an answer as it seems. Like. I think all of, and and Mitchell, you most yeah, definitely correct. Definitely correct. The world is small. It's a my small nigga. world, baby. It so, is. So that's what I'm saying. Like, you cannot miss out on your person because some shit happened. You worry about some shit that happened. Worry about yeah. some shit happened. I'm sure the dude have a pass anyway. Yeah. If he didn't have a pass, he wasn't doing nothing. We well, you know what? Stay what about it? Don't, it kind of depends on who the homie is, though. Cause you know if you got if you got the motherfucking dirt bag homie and he smashed, I don't know. I gotta look at it a little different. Why? Because you know the dirt bag homie usually only attracts certain types of uh, chicks and shit. So now you got to start trying to figure out what kind of chick you really talking to right but now. Well, you should be figure. You should know that off rip. You should. You should know that. But you know you always meet the representative at the beginning. Oh, at the beginning, you know. Yeah, they, so you might be at, at the, the beginning, beginning representative stage. Some of them sometimes they can put up facade for years, cause you yeah, know at the beginning. Sure. <laughs> but my thing is though. You still got to know this motherfucker, though. Like, I, yeah. I say it all the time, bro. You got to get to know the person that you in a relationship with, bro. You know, you know, yeah. what, you know so you know what to come, what's to come. Damn, you know she said, Katie K said she's been in that situation three times and she left. Damn. Yeah. I get, you've been in that situation where you've been you've been with the dude that your girl smashed, or you was the girl that smashed your girl homeboy and shit. Like, yeah. Which one is? I want to know. Well, now too. we all in your business, love. Me we all in your business. Me too. I want to know that's juicy. <laughs> he said that's juicy. <laughs> <laughs> that's juicy. We want to know, cause Dirt Diggler would smash heads and all. <laughs> Dirt Diggler. <laughs> Dirt Diggler. Dirt anyway, Diggler. but um, yeah. So I mean, ladies, I really want to know, cause there's a lot of ladies who say that they they a bust up. I ain't heard not one lady yet. Say that she would stick it out. Damn, we we some suckers for love ass niggas, huh? Yes, so. God damn, because I'm saying so. I'm a I'm a try to work it out and shit. Every lady over here says she out this bitch. I love her, baby. Bro. I'm sorry. I love <laughs> well, her. Well see, that's the thing, because dudes love harder than women. Yeah, I love her, bro. Yep, I said it. Yep, I said it. What you gonna do about it? I wanna hear what you gotta say about that shit. <laughs> and it's true though. That's true. Yeah. I think dudes love harder than women, yeah, though. That's, yeah, that's, that's just what, what it is. is. But um, I can't believe that nobody gonna stay. All these women out here, like, I thought y'all loved love. I don't believe him. You don't believe him? I don't believe him. It's good for TV. I don't believe him. <laughs> he make your whole body vibrate three or four times when he in that thing, too. Come on. <laughs> 
Come on. That nigga said your whole, whole body. The whole body vibrated. Like, <laughs> like, this nigga's amazing. You ain't about to fucking <laughs> let Super Dick go for no motherfucking shit your homegirl did. They did the Right, because Shantae did roll the nigga Come dick on. one time and shit. Come on. Does she know your situation? All you can do is smile at her and she can smile back like, yeah, girl. <laughs> yeah, girl. Let me say, talking about good dick would make would make you stay. Good pussy would make y'all stay. Um, I good pussy will make us stay. Um, for a minute. For a minute. For a minute. To a to a degree. I'm gonna honestly say that for a minute, cause uh, I was in that situation. You know what I mean? Like, didn't want to be in a relationship, but the monkey the monkey was like um. He's the monkey. The, the monkey, monkey was immaculate. You know so, I mean? so she's challenging us now. What she say? She say y'all love harder, huh? She said no, nah, y'all love different. Ooh, that's, she did that's, say that. That's challenging. That is definitely challenging. That's challenging. That's definitely. And, and I agree with it. Yeah, though. I was going to say it. I was just going to say Honestly, I do agree. Okay. I, I totally agree with you. We do love different. Okay. Okay. I, I'll buy I mean, that one. Nah, I'll definitely buy that Usually I'm combative and shit, but yeah, uh, I'll, yeah, buy I'll buy that one. You, you may be correct. You get right. One, you get you get one point in that motherfucker. I guess. Yeah. yeah. I, okay. I agree with that. One. All right. We no. damn. It, it ain't no fun. We agree though. No. I want to disagree, yeah, but I can't because it wouldn't even make sense. Because we do love this. <laughs> we do hell yeah. Because the motherfucker kill me, bro. Like, bro. Like, I be I had to ask a couple cuz like uh, homies talking shit. You know, like dudes I work with. You know, few homies. Like, bro. Like, man. Man, fuck that, bro. I was outside her house and shit, just sitting there. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> right. Nigga, oh, oh, I was in the Stalker bushes. Stalker, Stanley, ass nigga. I was in the bushes. Da, 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 da. Oh, I went through her phone. Da, 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 da. But you a dirtbag. <laughs> right. But you, because you smashed old girl right there. I just looked, looking at her. <laughs> See, right I just there. looked at her. I just looked at right her. There, look, right, look, right there, look, look, right. right. <laughs> you just smashed her, but you going yeah. through all this extra shit. Yeah. Oh, man, I love her, though. I mean, that ain't shit. Yeah. How? Like, so yeah, we love it differently. Yeah. Okay. I can buy that. I can buy that with the shit. Yeah, dog. I can buy that one. Yeah. Now she said she going to sleep now since we finally agree and shit. All right. Okay, well, Take a last sleep there, cuz. <laughs> right. Good day. Good day. Right. No. So I, I guess to a degree that's that's true. Damn. It's it's eleven o'clock already. We started late though, so we can roll. And you good? So we can roll. Yeah. All right. Bet. But um. So hit us in the comment box right now, man. We got about about ten more minutes, man. Fuck. We just go roll for a minute. But uh, we want to know, dog, would you stay or would you continue to date someone? Uh, that you found out the homie smash. Now, just to put it in a different perspective, I don't know. Hmm. Cause it's all it's gonna be all about the the actual situation. Like if the nigga smashed a couple of times or whatever, it's whatever. But like if y'all had like a real like halfway ass relationship, then I I most definitely can't I can't fuck around. No. Like you know what I'm saying? Like if this was like damn near your little girlfriend, like she know yeah. your mama and shit. Like I yeah. nah. Nigga, she I, been in, she been in your mama house. Though. Right. Nah, nigga, I can't I can't do that. She done met your kids and shit. Yeah. <laughs> right, nigga. I, kids, I can't fuck around. Putting your kids in fucked up situations because they gonna see like oh shit oh right right. oh oh right. what the hell going on here right <laughs> why the fuck Uncle Q with my stepmom right. <laughs> right the fuck stepmom nigga I thought you only hit one time nigga yeah. find out this nigga didn't lie and yeah, everything in a relationship with my mother <laughs> <laughs> Mitchell said we need to extend the time with more topics. Uh, you know we go we gonna try that's to save some, and that's why we trying to do it. You know what I'm saying? Three times we we're only doing it one time a week. This is step up, cub. right? Step up, yeah. So now we on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So we gonna try to uh, we gonna try to hold some of the topics for the other day. Money. Somehow we can't. <laughs> right. I mean, this ain't bringing in the funds that we need to take care of bills. You feel me? I know that that's good looking out though. I appreciate that shit. Yeah, we once, once we start getting our money rolling, and shit, we will be extending definitely. the time. We gonna stay. We gonna stay past eleven though, cause we uh. Started so late and shit, but um, well shit, fuck it. You didn't threw something in there. What you want to talk about, my guy? Shit. Say right. so we need some more topics. Shit. Tell me what you want to talk about, cause we out here for the extended time period now. Uh, so Venus says she got to go and shit. She out. All right then, we holler at you. Um, so yeah, shout out to the NYC man. Always checking us out out there. But um, I, it's a, it, this is a real, this is a real tough one though, cause like as much as I want to be all like. Damn, like this, maybe this the one, or we really moving towards something. I don't know if I, I don't know how long I'll be able to hold that shit down though. I couldn't, I couldn't. Yeah. Knowing, knowing this shit, and she don't know it. You gotta be, cause you going into a relationship, bro. You gotta be open and honest in this motherfucker because if you start off with that, start shit. off fucked up. It's <laughs> yeah. gonna, it's not gonna get better. It's gonna get worse. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, no, you ain't bullshit. You start off holding that secret, yeah, a secret yeah. like that, a secret like, like that. Come yeah, on, yeah. bro. 
the, she the, gonna leave you when she find out because she knew you knew and didn't say nothing and you know you didn't say nothing. Yeah, both of y'all probably won't have lose a friend and the she said you know, lose a friend and the and 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 right and the party. So look, I this this actually happened on uh on Blackish. You be you ever watched Blackish? Yeah. So I, I caught this rerun actually the other day. And I just thought about it. it. Just popped in my head. This is actually what happened uh, with uh, with Rainbow and uh and uh Dre and shit, right? So uh, she had friends from college and shit. And, uh, like, she a doctor now, so she doing a little better. She doing good. So she invited her college friends over and shit. One of the dudes brought his little, his, his, new, his new wife or whatever. But just happened to be a nigga that she used to smash in college, though. But not only was she smashing a nigga, they almost got, well, actually, they, they got engaged. And she just didn't marry the nigga. So she bring the nigga over to the crib. Dre didn't know nothing about it. Now, see, these are one of the situations. You didn't invite a nigga over that not only did you smash, but you almost got married yeah, to. Yeah, come on. Now, see, at this point... I don't fuck you got a wife with you or not. Like, why right. the fuck is they here, cuz? Like, what is you trying to do? Bro? Now, at this point, you know, that they married with, with a whole-ass family. Yeah. Shit. That ain't some shit you can just walk no, away from. hell no. But that's got to be a salty-ass feeling, though. Definitely salty, bro. Like, you got to at least tell me, like, yeah. hey, so I used to fuck this nigga, and, and we almost got married. Like, we almost got married? Right. That's, you got... That's some shit you got to tell me. That's peanut salty-ass <laughs> shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but really? then you got that whole-ass family, so you, you can't just bust up, okay. like... Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I don't know. Now that that's a weird, that's a weirder that's position a weird. right there. But I'll be fucking pissed off though. You gonna have, yeah. She might get shooken up like a little pit bull in yeah. this motherfucker. As soon as I see the motherfucking situation, I'm, I, me personally, I can't help myself. Sometimes yeah. I have this shit that just click in my head and I just snap like I see red. Like I don't know what it <laughs> yeah, is, bro. Red. And it's only like certain situations. Like it's, you can beat me up a lot. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. might not get that mother. But certain situations, I should just see red, bro. I don't, yeah. I don't know what happened. That might be one of them situations. Yeah, that might just be one of them situations. Kai Jones just checked in. What up, though? What up, though? But um, yeah. So I, that's a that's a situation because you can't you marry you got a whole family like you you can be mad but like what you really gonna do like yeah, you just go yeah. bust up and bust leave. Up, yeah. But I mean, and I can't remember because I did I just seen this uh, rerun the other day. I can't remember like how it came out because he ain't say the shit. But uh, well, no, maybe he did say something. Eluding to it and shit, and then they was like, "Nigga, so how, how you know such and such?" And then that's how that shit popped off. He found out like, "Oh shit, word." Yeah. So he was mad, but like he wasn't like he was mad, but he wasn't all the way mad. I think what really happened, he got mad, and then when you start seeing who she almost married, then you start questioning yourself. I think that's what happened. Mm -hmm. Any nigga, even when you secure and confident and shit, I think when you see who your girl used to smash and almost like almost married, nigga, you start questioning like, "Damn, dude." What do I do? What that? the fuck? Yeah, you know what I'm saying, right? I mean, you would any nigga, even a confident nigga, go start questioning himself eventually. Like, damn, yeah. what? Because she almost married that nigga. Yeah. So I'm like, dog. So she did marry the nigga. And that's like, was I the second prize, nigga? Like, right. you start thinking all kind of shit, though. Was I the rebound, yeah. nigga? Yeah. But oh, I don't understand shit. Okay, yeah, yeah. We gonna talk about that in a second, Mitch. Yeah, good looking. I understand the rebound, nigga. Like, what do you mean you use the rebound, nigga? Like, yeah. Like every nigga, honestly, is a, is a rebound. Nigga. Nigga. <laughs> yeah, let's the first nigga. And shit let you the first nigga that yeah. smashed that thing, broke that, broke that uh foreskin. Yeah. If you ain't broke that foreskin, then, then nigga, you everybody rebound nigga. Everybody rebound nigga, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, you know what, Mitchell? We go. We might say that one for tomorrow. But we go. Yeah, we go. I mean, not tomorrow, but Wednesday. We might say that one. But we go. We go. We go. Hint to it real quick and try to get the discussion rolling. But we gonna talk about that more in depth on Wednesday. Um, so just a uh, side topic real quick uh, For Wednesday We're going to talk about this But Kareem Hunt uh, The the uh, football nigga from Kansas City and shit uh, So he they already knew that he was he beat up a chick Like they, they knew that shit already But the, the video came out And my guy It's some shit you just don't do my guy When when you were, when you an athlete at that size nigga I mean really it's, it's some shit you just don't do Like you try to beat the ah. brakes off a bitch in real life I'm sorry, Why? I said bitch again. I, but I'm just saying, like, I. Why? So we go talk about that. So we go talk about domestic violence and all that shit on Wednesday. But, but why? I don't understand. Why nigga even get to that? Like how? Nigga, if like, I'm ever that make, angry, she can't make me that mad. Cause if if that's the case, remove yourself. My okay? first wife would be dead. Dog, you stupid. <laughs> she be dead. She be dead. Dead.com. Like I don't understand. Like how you you know you can do it. Yeah. Like why? Yeah. Like why? Yeah, we most definitely gonna talk about this shit on Wednesday though. Good topic, my guy. We gonna give you Appreciate a shout out too you. on Wednesday because we yeah. gonna talk about your topic. But it's a like like I said, just to give a little background on this shit. Um, the NFL already knew that he had that situation. You know what I'm saying? Because it got reported or whatever. 
But then, like, the, the video just came out what, last week or whatever, and then, you know, they got rid of his ass quickly. But um, I I don't know, though. You, you niggas need to relax. And, and then, at the same time, I don't want to, uh, you know, I don't want to make no excuses and no shit like that. But at the same time, man, some of these some of these football niggas' heads is fucked up, bro. Fucked up, yeah, bro. they fucked up. They fucked and again, up. I'm not trying to make no excuse, but a lot of these uh these contact sports, dog, these niggas uh <laughs> their heads ain't right, bro. And it's and it, and it shows you like, it, like yeah. every fucking movie, like every right. football movie there is was the one crazy motherfucker. Yeah, like it's yeah. real shit though. Yeah. They got like you know they got it's trauma. Nigga. Yeah. That's real life trauma. Head trauma. Getting your head banged and shit that that many times, nigga, for years. You know what I'm saying, like. Even when these niggas first get to the league, they might be a uh, they might be a, a rookie in the league. But shit, you got to figure these niggas have been playing football since mm -hmm, they was ten. Mm -hmm. So at this point, they've already been playing contact mm -hmm. sports for fifteen years, mm -hmm. nigga. So like it's it ain't no excuse, but you know what I'm saying we gonna talk about that shit though. Yeah, we gonna talk yeah. about that shit on Wednesday, man. But um, <coughs> real quick, dog, we gonna get back to the for real topic. Then we gonna get up out of here one last time. If you want to hit us in the comment box, let us know would you continue to date someone that you find out the homie smash man. Hit us in the comment box. And we getting ready to get up out of here. So we got like five minutes. You can hit me. And we'll read it all out. Monk Money, though. What you say, bro? You found out the homie smash. Somebody you just dating and shit. What you do, bro? Like I said before, bro. Certain situations. I might say, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> and now's a bitch for the people that say we say bitch too much. But, anyway. <laughs> but I'll be like, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? But. If I got something to this person, this might be my person, bro. I'm not going to take that chance yeah. of some shit that happened in the past to fuck up my future. And I'm dumb. How did he get off? Why he got all romantic on the mic? He got all romantic. Oh, keep sweating, sweat hotel ass nigga. That's, what I, that's what exactly what I got to right. That's what I got to Motherfucking sweat hotel ass nigga. That's why I got the old yeah. little bit. All right, you know. yo, for, for real, on that note, though, I think I think it definitely depends on two things, man. The length of time has been since the homie smash and also the length of time that we've been, you know, we've been dating and shit. And also not just the time, but, like, where I'm at with it. Like, because yeah. even though the length of time could be uh, could be short, I might be somewhere with that person. Like, damn, you know, like, we really building. We going in a direction where I think I, I could really fuck around. So I think all of that depends. It'll be a tough bullet to swallow. I ain't going to lie. You, if you really invested in this person, then you find out the homie smash. And then you, you just really got to sit there and figure out, like, you know, was they just smashing? Was it a relationship? Like, what, what was going on? Because all those things do factor in. But essentially, I think Coco J said it earlier, um, it, it's going to be awkward at first. If mm -hmm. you decide to stay, it's a possibility mm -hmm. that that awkwardness could end up breaking y'all up and shit. Yeah, so it could. It's, it's, all, it's all a risk. That's all I'm saying. But Definitely. I think at the end of the day, yeah, everything a risk. But at the end of the day, I, I think all of those things factor in. So it, it it can't be a solid yes or no. It really can't. It can't it can't be a solid. I'm out. It can't be a solid. I'm I'm gonna stay in there because I think every situation gonna be different. But I think those factors definitely play you know play a role. Y'all want to thank everybody who checked us out today on eblockradio.com. Don't forget to download the eblock radio mobile app. You know what I'm saying? Instagram live man. Shout out to y'all. The link will be in the bio in about uh, 20 minutes, so you can watch the whole replay with the background, not just a little green screen and shit. Right, right, right. Um, also Wednesday, shout out to my man Mitch. We go use his topic on Wednesday. We gonna talk about Kareem Hunt and the whole. We gonna talk about domestic abuse and all that shit just yeah. as a whole and shit. We gonna talk about it on Wednesday. We gonna use Kareem Hunt as our uh, as our prototype though, our, our study. We're going to talk about that. So, shout out to my man, Mitch. We will be using his topic on Wednesday. So, don't forget, check us out Wednesday at 10 a.m. or around 10. Friday. 10 -ish. We'll, Right, 10-ish. Uh, Friday, we'll, we'll let you know. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll be able to do it Friday. Hopefully. But if not, uh, we'll, we'll let you know. these haters that don't want to see you shine, bro. Like, I don't right. know. Some, you know what? You know what I actually seen? And I, and I fucking, I'm going to put it out here right now for the end of the show. And I think it was Candy Cane that posted it. Uh -huh. And it said... When people try to bury you, but they just don't know that you a seed and you gonna grow. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like that shit. That shit kind of hit me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, and they that's all a, fucking philosophical this morning. That's what I'm doing. I'm just saying. I'm just telling you how I feel, bro. That's how I feel. Like motherfucker try to bury me, but it's about to. It's man. Yeah. Nine, 2019, my money out here. <laughs> 2019. Yeah. So you know what it is, man. It's the live is cloud radio e show on the planet, man. Straight from the E Block Radio, live on your dial, live from the four eight two zero five. I got my man Monk Money holding it down. Yeah, you know what it is. Being all philosophical and shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> and of course, man, it's your boy, the Hood Howard Stern, Q Lewis. We'll check y'all out Wednesday.
10 ish. 10 ish. Yeah, just be woke, motherfuckers. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> Peace out, y'all. Wake and bake, baby. It's the Wake and Bake Show, baby.